don't have a fancy intro. I have no explanation other than I've been moving, doing a lot of stuff. But it is so good to see y'all again. I stay, I stay here for you. Even if I'm gone by the new moon. I stay, I stay here for you. Hello and welcome back to the Tune Up. I hope you guys are doing great. I've missed you so much. It's been a long time since I've made a video and I do apologize for that, but uh, I'm back. Yeah, I am gonna miss the old setup a lot, but um, you know, thinking of ways to give y'all new videos as you saw from the polls. Thank you all so much for participating and that that was crazy. Suggestion session, Arctic Monkeys. I don't really have to say much else. Yeah, uh, it'll be a little different because of the new setup and everything. Uh, but I do hope you enjoy, uh, and I've got a video for you for the next couple days, as you saw. And yeah, you know, there's really not much more to say other than I'm happy to be back. I hope you enjoy the video. hope you enjoy the future videos. It's gonna be weird because a lot of these videos were filmed when I was at the old spot with the old setup. So it'll be a little nostalgic, a little like, oh, oh no. But you know, we're moving forward. We're doing everything else, and we pushing on, making videos, making content, and we almost at 10K. Like, we on the cusp of 10,000, which is incredible. Thank you all so much. So yeah, no more spiel, no more talking. Let's jump into whatever people say I am, that's what I'm not from Arctic Monkeys. Y'all requested it, let's do it. Number one, the view from the afternoon. Okay, that little bass line, I see you. Drum breakdowns are always fire. All right, all right. Now, <laughs> what's funny as hell is that off of that one track, I can definitely see <laughs> now more than ever why people were divided on AM. AM sounds nothing like that. And it's, it's, you know, it's very cool and modern. This is very much vintage in your face and all energetic as opposed to all for the feeling, all for the aesthetic, all for the mood, all for the, you know, artistic value. They were just like, this is us, this is our music. If you don't like it, that's too bad. We ain't going nowhere. But I like that. I like that that's uh, how the album opens up, especially for a debut. You gotta go strong, you gotta go in 100%. So that's a, that's a good track to start with. I like that a lot. Number two, I bet you look good on the dance floor. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Okay. That whole part of the chorus is crazy. I love how it all rhymes and connects. High energy, great writing. Um, and it was surprising that the way that the beat would switch and ride at the same time, like, uh, I loved how it started, but I wasn't expecting the pattern to switch so soon. They come in with it. Y'all was right, and, and you know, I saw the votes coming in for this one and all the upvotes, and yeah. Y'all was waiting on this one. I, I, I can see why. Number three, Fake Tales of San Francisco. So far, the vibe already just feels more fresh than the other releases. And that's not to say, oh, like the other albums are dated or they sound, you know, out of touch or whatever. But this just feels like that burst of energy that they were creating with. And I like that. I like that it just feels all at 10, you know, not everything is like loud or mixed poorly. It's very clear and it's very clean, but it just feels like all the creative energy on this first album was being just released. 
and it's beautiful. I like it. Number four, dancing shoes. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Close favorite right now. <laughs> I enjoyed that one thoroughly. Beautiful solo, strong vocals, and I loved uh, how interesting the delivery was at the beginning of it. <laughs> Playing around with the notes, you know, like like I said, that not everything has to be. I forget which video I said it on, but not everything has to be all pretty and concise and well done. Sometimes you can just play around with a note. If it sounds good, leave it in. <laughs> and in this case, it worked all the way through. I know I laughed, but I liked how it sounded. It, it wasn't like, you know, other videos where I've laughed and I've been like, e. <laughs> um, Number five, you probably couldn't see for the lights, but you were staring straight at me. Y'all with these song titles, and I thought Fall Out Boy had the, the, the reigning title of weird song titles, but here we go. Switch. Oh, that's so hard. That's crazy. Number six, still take you home. That's so crazy. Ooh, that's funky as hell. Now see this, the, the problem is it's gonna be hard for me to pick a favorite towards the end of all of this. But uh, every single thing I'm hearing so far is great. But again, this is definitely painting a clearer picture of why so many people, I guess, want this sound back. I mean, I'm not really for that type of energy only because, you know, I want people to evolve. I want people to, you know, do stuff. If they do something that reminds me of this, then I'll go crazy because I'm like, oh wow, like, this is like what you did on the first album, on the second album, or anything like that. But, you know, I'm, I'm not asking for another album like this. But because it's such a distinguished sound for them, and I guess most of this genre, um, being that they were really good at it and being that they made such an impact with their debut, I can see why people would want it back. So I understand, but, you know, I'm still on my whole, hey, if this is what you like, then just stick to that because... You keep expecting something like this that's how many years old? How? Yeah, <laughs> the album is 13 years old. I, I, don't, I don't know what else to tell you if, you if you're looking for this in 2019. Good luck. I mean, if not, just, you know, go back to the album. Save yourself the disappointment. Number seven, Riot Band. I didn't do that much wrong, still ran away though for the last. That's gorgeous. I have nothing to add. Kind of felt like a little interlude, but I have nothing to add. I wish it was longer. That's it. That's the only thing I have to add. Let me contradict myself one more time. 
I just wish it was longer. Beautiful song, too short. Number eight, red light indicates doors are secured. Wasn't expecting that delivery. Okay, come on with it. Oh. This might be the favorite. <laughs> this this definitely might be the favorite. Yeah, that melody is, that's everything right there. All right, yeah. <laughs> Between Still Take You Home, uh, You Look Good on the Dance Floor, and this song, that I think, I think that's my current top. That, well, no, because Riot Van was beautiful. I'll get back to you on that. But yeah, no, that, that was absolutely fire. Great song. Number nine, Marty Bum. <laughs> Oh, come through solo, come through. Ooh. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Number 10, perhaps vampires is a bit strong, but. <laughs> kind of a statement making song I see that's crazy wow Jamming out for the rest of it, I love it. Coming up on the last bit of tracks, number 11, When the Sun Goes Down. That took a turn. <laughs> oh, that bass line is. <sighs> bass line sending me right now. I see you. Y'all see how they slowed it down and then brought it back? That's crazy. And back to the beginning. I love that. I love that. Number 12, from the Ritz to the Rubble. <laughs> I 
That's a masterpiece right there. What? Yeah, y'all was right about this record. Y'all was right about this one. Oh, oh, switch it up. Oh, switch it up. Oh. Oh, hell yeah. Hell to the yeah. And finally, number 13, A Certain Romance. Okay. Okay, <laughs> syncing up with the drum patterns. You see, you see. Ooh. <laughs> it don't take no Sherlock Holmes to see it's a little different. It's a bar, it's a bar. Oh, gonna ride back in. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh, oh. That's beautiful. Wow. Honestly, a perfect ending for this album. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's how you do a debut album. That's how you do it. I'm happy that was the first suggestion back into the groove of things on the channel, man, because uh, that's honestly one of the best albums I've had suggested to me in a cool minute. Whenever a band gets suggested to me, I definitely try to go about it with an open mind like I always do, but you know, after doing it so many times, it's like, oh my God, here we go again. But um, I'm very surprised in the most pleasant way that this was as good as the hype led it to be. Like that's exactly what went wrong with me and a whole lot of other videos I won't bring up right now, but this this was uh, voted for a bunch of times, and you know, even though Humbug saw a lot of love in my comments, people kept voting for this album. So I was like, all right, I I gotta do you know democracy rules, majority rules. But um, I'm very happy this album was worth the wait, was worth the hype, and I can definitely now see a little bit more of what people were talking about and why people kind of had a distaste for Tranquil Base Casino or Tranquil Base Hotel and Casino. That's what it's called, TBHNC. Um, but yeah, that one, the, the, I, I can see where like people would disconnect with the, with the new sound as opposed to having this to start off with. I can understand it, you know, I'm not for it, but I can understand it. Start to finish, every song on here is great. This is uh, definitely one of the perfect albums in existence. And I say that because um, I have a list that I keep, like a personal list. I don't know if y'all want to see it. I don't know if you want me to comment it below or if y'all want me to just do a whole video on that. But there's a few albums that I think are perfect in existence. And I have to add this to the list. Uh, Miguel's War and Leisure, Usher's Confessions, Thriller of Purple Rain. You know, the, the list goes on. But I, I definitely can now add this to that because, you know, this being their debut, it feels like they just debuted in their own lane. Like... You've had grunge and you've had alternative rock, British rock, and you know, all that of the sort, but you know, this was 13 years ago, so I doubt anybody was doing it like this. And if they were, they weren't doing it in this manner to where the melodies are great, the drum patterns are all engaging, they're constantly changing, there's so much variety in everything, and it just feels authentic and genuine. The energy is just never slowed down, even with Riot Band it was it still felt pure and that's and that's kind of what i mean i don't mean you know velocity and hype i just mean like the pure energy of the album 
never once died down. It started at 10 and ended at 10. Like, the consistency of this is just mind-blowing for me. Um, I would definitely say out of all the Arctic suggestions I've done so far, this is definitely my favorite. I mean, Favorite Worst Nightmare was fantastic, and I really did enjoy Tranquil Base, but yeah, I, I can see why people love this record. I can see why this is something that is so held into a high regard. Now I get the picture. So, you know, you, you can stop looking at me crazy whenever I say that on, on camera. So yeah, I'm happy that this was the suggestion I got back to. Um, apologies if I seem a little reserved. Um, it's in a new space. I don't want to make too much noise. I don't want to disturb the other people. So um, a couple of the newer videos are going to look like that too. So I hope that doesn't take away from the, from the entertainment of the video. But um, like I said, and like I've been posting, there's so much on the way. There's so much in store for you guys. And I really hope you enjoy it because I love doing this. We're almost at 10K. New music, new merch. Everything is happening right now. That's gonna do it for the suggestion session. I'm so happy to be back. I love y'all. I miss y'all. And I really hope you're doing well. Like, share, subscribe, the whole nine. You know the biz. You know what it is. It's Gerald O'Brien. And I'm back here on YouTube. This has been the Tune Up. Have a good one.